Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Desserts for the Weekend. Today, I wanted to share another snacky type dessert. They are super easy to make and they are super yummy. We're going to be only needing three things. An apple, a knife, and some peanut butter. And then to make those figurines, we're going to be using actually cookie cutters, but I would recommend you to use like kind of the smaller cookie cutters that usually come in sets. I'm going to be using this butterfly, this round cookie cutter, this kind of daisy cookie cutter, these letters, and here I'm just showing you other options of cookie cutters that you can use. Things like stars, teddy bears, squares if you want to give it a kind of an edgy look to your apple. Or you can use some daisies. It's pretty much up to you, pretty much depends on what you have. So to start with, we're going to be slicing that apple. I'm just going to slice it into as many pieces I can. And I found out that the easier way to slice my apple was to just go all the way around like so and then cutting through the middle because it's going to give you this way the same thickness all around your apple so it's going to look cuter, I think. And then I'm going to pretty much go ahead and throw both ends and just be careful when you're cutting those slices. And here we're going to pretty much be working on which uh, slice goes with which one. And for this step, it's easier to just remember which slice was first and then which slide was next and stuff like that. So you're going to be able to have even slices, not like I did. I, I have them all over the place, so this happens. So once you have all your slices paired, we're just going to start the fun, which is cutting the parts in the middle. First, I'm going to be taking my butterfly and for that because I just want the top part to have the butterfly print on it I'm just going to just cut the top part which is the slice on the top and then for my next one is my daisy one I'm just going to cut both slices with my daisy cutter and here I made a mistake I actually went ahead all the way with my round cookie cutter and I should have done that only on the top slice. You're going to see what I mean at the end. It's going to look like a poor sandwich, but next time I do it, or you know, pretty much next time you do it, you just go ahead and cut the slice on the top. So that's it for the daisy. And the fun part about this is that you can write cute things as well. Depending on, you know, the cookie cutters you're using and depends on how big or how small your apple turns out to be. And here I'm just cutting pretty much on the top slice of my sandwich high. And my apple is starting to look kind of weird and kind of gross. But you know, when you cut an apple, you just kind of have to go fast before it, it goes bad. You know, it turns brown as mine is. So I'm pretty much hurrying up. For my next one, I'm just going to cut both slices with my hard cookie cutter. Again, I made the same mistake in cutting all the way that A cookie cutter. So pretty much you want to cut just the slice on the top. So you are going to have a cute effect on the bottom. I'm pretty much using another knife, like the one I use for my bread and butter. Just putting my peanut butter on the top, kind of uh, smoothing everything and just putting the slice that goes on the top right in there. And this is what my A looks like. And then moving on to the next one, which is my high. So if you have like a lot of apples, you can write happy birthday or just cute simple notes like that. So I think it's pretty cool that you can write things. And here's what I did with my daisy because I found out that I made a mistake and by now I was just struggling with how is this going to work with the peanut butter. But then I just said, well, maybe I'm going to just sandwich the whole thing. I think it looks kind of cute. Let me know if you want me to keep on kind of experimenting with all the cookie cutters that I have or if you want me to stay with baked goods such cupcakes, cookies and all that good stuff ate all the leftovers so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it then don't forget to let me know give this video a thumbs up share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and take care